Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, today, whew, I'm excited because we are talking hourglass. And y'all know, anytime I get to talk hourglass, I live my best life. So today, we are going to be diving headfirst into their ghost collection. Now, I did pick up, I believe, everything in this collection with the exception of one of the little lip kits that they sell. And the only reason I didn't grab that one is because it was two very deep-toned reds. One was like a blue undertone, and I believe one was kind of an orange undertone red. And I just didn't think I would get as much use out of that one as I would this one. So let's go ahead first and dive in with this little ditty right here. This is their Ghost Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, and I am so freaking excited. This is the one everyone is talking about. Don't get me wrong. I love a blush, and I love everything else in this collection thus far, but every single year that they come out with these, I'm just like, oh, girl, need that. It's all mine. And this is the fifth year in a row that they are actually doing this palette. I do have two other ones here for reference. It is an $80 palette. I want to go ahead, read you guys a little bit about the palette, and uh, give you the swatches up close. So let's go ahead and dive into that first. It says on the Hourglass website, which of course is where I picked all of this up from, that this is the coveted ambient light edit and it returns for its fifth year, featuring 100% vegan blush and bronzer in six shades. Three best-selling and three exclusive new hues for a glowing complexion. Just to break that down a little bit farther because I know my swatches can be a little bit difficult to read because I'm so pasty, so I just want to talk through it for one second here. Both of these are the blushes in the palette. You have a matte blush and a strobing blush. Then over here you have a bronzer bronzer. And then down here we have three lighter powders. Now this one right here is actually a highlight powder, which you really can't see too well on camera until it's applied to the face, but it does have a very nice light kind of strobey effect to it. I did also go ahead and pull my other two palettes that I have from Hourglass in the same setup from previous years, so I can show you guys a little bit of a comparison there. And this is the first one. This one is actually the Ambient Lighting Volume 4 palette. There's a little bit of a difference in tone as well as um, type of finish that you get, but these two out of the three, in my opinion, are the most similar. Now, this is the other one that I have. This is the Ambient Lighting Unlocked palette, and oh my god, you guys, I loved this so, so much, but putting the two side by side, you can tell they're not very similar in the way of tone or pigmentation. This one is definitely deeper than the one we're talking about today. Now, all of this brings me to the next question that I know I will inevitably receive. Paige, can you still get these two palettes? I really love that tone. I really love this. I love that, and no, you cannot. These are no longer available. When Hourglass says these are limited edition. They mean it, guys. Once they're gone, they're gone. All right, you guys, so it is finally time to apply some makeup and turn this flat Stanley looking face into something with some contour. So we are going to be diving into this little fellow right here first and grabbing a brush that I actually took off the wall up here. This is my Furless Pro 3F brush, and I used to love this brush to apply my bronzer, but I did grab this brush on purpose because I wanted to emphasize to you guys that if you are using a bigger brush, whether it's bronzer, blush, highlight, what have you, you will want to be very mindful while you're applying because this will dunk into multiple shades because this is a very small sized palette. So I'm just going to grab my brush here and I'm going to kind of lightly tap over here. What I like to do in these palettes, just because I love the way it looks on my skin, is I'll actually kind of tap from the bronzer down into the lighting just a little bit here. I'm just going to go ahead and start applying. And I'm also building this up a little bit just so you guys can kind of see the difference from side to side. All right, so I'm pretty sure we are good and blended onto the skin. I just sat here and talked to myself for the last uh, 20 minutes while my camera battery had died and I didn't realize it because I can't see. So let's recap, shall we? Because as fun as it is talking to myself, I would rather chat with you guys. So let's go ahead and discuss. First of all, I love the way it looks on my skin. The quality is here. Like it blends, it buffs. It's a very buildable bronzer. So even though in swatch and in pan, it looks very light, it is very, very buildable. Again, you can see the depth on my skin. It's, it's absolutely stunning. But I do wish that Hourglass, if you hear this, I wish that you would come out with these palettes for light to medium and medium to deep so that way everyone could enjoy them because as it sits right now that's just not an option and it's really disheartening because I love these products so so much but I have a huge part of my audience that's also medium to deep skin tone for me you guys that's probably the biggest issue that I have so far with these palettes because again like the quality is beautiful it blends it buffs it does everything it's supposed to do but unfortunately it can't do it for everyone because there isn't something for everyone and maybe it's just me again you guys can let me know down below but I don't remember there being a time where they did that so maybe 20 2020 hourglass maybe 2020 shouldn't have to wait till 2020 but 
Okay. Now moving from there into this little guy, this is their blush quad, which is why we did not grab a blush out of here, um, because we want to play around with this $58 blush quad. Yes, you heard me, $58 blush quad. Let me read you a little bit about it off of their website here. It says, this is a collection of blushes that define the essential cheek wardrobe. This palette features an exclusive quartet of universally flattering hybrid blushes that combine the customizing lighting effects of ambient lighting powder and strobe powder with a beautiful color. Available in a limited edition compact with a silver and translucent finish. Now I'm just going to be straight honest with you guys. What I love about these is actually the very thing that they just described and something that you really can't see that well on the internet. Because as you guys were looking at the swatches, you can see the colors and all of that, but you really can't get a feel for how beautiful these look on the skin because they really do straddle that line, just like they were saying, um, of how well they like sink and settle into your skin, but also how they have like this beautiful, light, luminous kind of finish to them. And they're stunning. So anyways, I'm going to grab the Morphe E4 here. And I think I'm going to grab this guy right here out of this lower corner and I am just going to apply it to my skin. Oh my galore. Now you will be able to see this a little bit better once we're up close and I've sprayed my face because I really want you to see what it looks like um, once it's pressed into the skin because right now, yes, it looks pretty, but it's just a color. And for these, what's really beautiful is when they're melded in with your skin. They just have this nice kind of shifty light moment going on and they're gorgeous. So I did that on that side. And I think for the other side, I want to take this pink one right here and I want to try applying that. Ooh, that's pretty too. Okay, so it's a lot lighter in tone, and I like the brightness of it. It's really, really beautiful. You can actually see how this side looks so much um, lighter and pressed toward the back of the face, whereas this one is much more punchy up front. So you guys, I'm losing the battle, the battle of sun. It went away again. So at some point, I might have to get up and actually shut the blinds. Like, that's how much darker it is in here in the last um, 20 minutes. So I apologize for that. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dive back into this palette and grab these finishing powders right here with my big old fluffy JH01 brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and just veil that all over the face and just use it to really soften and blend everything together. I only did it on this half of the face because I want you guys to see how much lighter and softer this side looks and how blended everything is just like into the cheek. Like it looks like it's actually a part of my face versus this side, which is pretty if you like more of like that poppy out there blush. I do wear my makeup like this sometimes and I don't have an issue with it. But if you do struggle with getting everything to blend and press together, a finishing powder might be the way to go. So I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of the difference there between the two sides. And now I'm going to go ahead and do both sides. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with some dewy set spray so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I'm up close. All right, guys, so I did, of course, lose the battle of the light per usual, so I had to get up and shut all my blinds. So the lighting looks a little bit different from here on out. I, again, apologize, but let's go ahead and talk about eyes because your girl has this sexy little trio right here, and we need to discuss because these are so, so beautiful. These are the Hourglass Scattered Light Eyeshadows, and I do have a few of these in my collection. I think I have five different shades. I actually just used one of them in an IGTV video, and and if you haven't been following me on Instagram and you're into those like little fun um, videos where I apply my makeup, there's like a song in the background that's like anywhere from a minute to three minutes long or something like that, you should definitely be following me on Instagram because I've been putting those up and it's so much fun. So if you like just extra content, hanging out with me, what have you, definitely follow me on Instagram. It is linked down below. Anyways, back to these little guys here. So this is a little trio that's available with their Ghost Collection and it is a $46 trio. Now the first thing that I think is important to mention with these is the amount of product you're receiving because up until this point, we have been seeing the same amount of product in everything, whether it's the blush palette or the face palette. Those all have 0.04 ounces per pan. And yes, that's small. Don't even get me started on how small that is because, girl, it's small. But it is very consistent with what we have seen in the past from Hourglass. Both of the other palettes I was holding up also had 0.04 ounces. So this is the first time that we're seeing something that's a different size. And that's why I did want to highlight it in this particular collection because out of these three, they are all only 0.07 ounces of piece and their normal size which I'm holding one of them right here these are 0.12 ounces so these are a little bit more than half of your normal amount of product again you get three of them for $46 but they are less product or if you see one that you really like in a full size you can go that route as well and these are 29 so just something I wanted to point out now let's go ahead and show you guys the swatches of this collection real quick here and in the description it says that these are a limited edition set of scattered light glitter eyeshadows that features one exclusive new 
shade and two classic must-have hues. This weightless glitter eyeshadow is infused with refined light reflecting pearls that dust eyes in a sparkling shimmer. A unique hybrid cream formula, it imparts reflective, buildable dimension for everything from a delicate luster to an intense prismatic finish. And that is 100% accurate all the way around. These are so, so gorgeous on the lid. And if I had to describe them to you, I would almost say that they give like a nice um, bridal kind of feel in the sense of how they reflect the light, but they are really, really light, or you can build them up and make them a little bit more impactful. That's just kind of how I look at them. If you look at a lot of the other ones we're seeing on the market, like the ones from Tarte, those ones are very like one swipe, wha-bam, in your face. And these ones you can really work with, and like the name says, literally scatter the light and go like a nice softer approach, again, giving you that more bridal-esque feel. Now, out of all the shades in here, this is Molten. This is the one that they just said is the newest shade. I thought this would be the one we should play with today, because y'all know I just gotta play with what's new. Now, real quick, I am just gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape on my lids here. With all of that on, I'm just gonna take the shade on my finger right here. Oh my god, just look at that. <gasps> it is so aesthetically pleasing. And I didn't apply any glitter glue or anything like that to my lid. I just left the um, concealer wet and I'm just applying this all over with just my finger because I really just want you guys to see what this looks like if you just go in and use it as is. Obviously, I need to like add more and blend, but isn't this just such a beautiful diffusion of color? Diffusion? Not a word, but I like to go in if I'm doing them just all over the lid like this and I will just lightly press it into the skin because I want it to be nice and melded in with my concealer. And then with a clean finger here, I just lightly go in and blend the edges. You can also use a blending brush if you prefer, totally your call. But I did think it would be really pretty, I mean, while we're at it, to take the shade Foil right here. And I'm gonna pop that, I think, right in the center just a little bit because this shade, as you can tell, has a lot more glean and glisten to it. And uh, I just want to take it and very lightly disperse it and then blend it in with that purple there. Oh, that's really pretty. Like, look at that combo. And it's just so effortless because these really do reflect the light so nicely that even if you don't spend a ton of time blending, it's going to be very, very forgiving which is like my favorite thing because you don't have to spend a lot of time if you don't want to. Oh my God, like I'm just, I don't know what it is. I'm just crazy about that. I think it looks so pretty. All right, and then we have both eyes done. Guys, it's just so quick, so easy. There's not much to say. This formula is a really beautiful one and I love it because there's no fallout on my under eye and I applied all of that with my hands and no glitter glue and I just, I didn't have any issues. I even was in there like literally blending with my fingers and I didn't have any issues. Like, these are just so good. If you were on the fence and you were wondering, like, hmm, what would Paige do? Does she like them? Girl, I love them. I think that this is such a great formula. Again, especially if you're not into that, like, hyper-reflective, like, insanely metallic kind of feel, these are so, so good. I hate the thought of anybody being left out. I mean, what if I just popped you on my lower lash line? I love shimmer on my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna... run it right there. I mean, why not? I don't want you to be all alone. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That one has more glitter in it, I think, like just a touch more. So it gives me like this really pretty, like kind of speckly look on the lower lash line. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, let's do both sides. I love it. All right, so I went ahead, I zoomed you guys out. I hit my face with a little bit of the NYX Bear With Me spray. And now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. And for that, I'm gonna actually jump back into this palette right here. And I'm gonna show you guys this shade, which is the highlighty or strobe shade that they offer. It's not a super blinding highlight, again, like I mentioned before. And I'm just taking that on this little AOA Studio. It's their F19. It's a $1 brush that I got off the website a long time ago. But I just wanted to show you guys that with these highlights, it isn't so much about the level of blind. It's more so about like a nice light strobing effect. And on my cheek right now, you'll notice it has much more of a light natural kind of finish to it. And in that essence, you do get kind of a highlight quality, but it isn't like a blinding highlight. And I wanted to show you what I was talking about by comparing that to the highlight out of this palette right here, which was like a true blue highlight. This is like so beautiful. So this is where we started. You can see like a nice light sheen. And then just over over top of that, I'm gonna give you some highlight action. Like, do you see the difference? How the intensity of it is so different, but it has that same nice, like, pressed into the skin kind of ambient glow feature. This one is just much more amped up. I don't know what it is, guys. It's just so, so beautiful. And I'm not showing you that because it's out of like this palette. I'm just kind of showing you the difference in their stuff. Because with Hourglass, they do a beautiful job at breaking down their powders into a regular ambient kind of finishing powder, a strobe powder, and then a metallic strobe powder. And that one that I just applied from the other palette was a metallic strobe versus this one, which is just a regular strobe powder, which is basically like taking their finishing powder and just adding 
adding like a little bit of glow to it versus a full-on highlight if that makes sense now I'm just going in with a little bit of my Peter Thomas Roth lashes to die for mascara all right now moving on from there the last item I have is this little lip duo right here I have this in the set I cherish and you inspire which again was more of a light and a deep combo but they also have I wonder and I'll forever but it does say on their website here that this is a limited edition duo featuring one confession ultra slim lipstick and one refill the two new shades deliver saturated long wearing color with a satin finish now this is what the component looks like this is the handle and when they say interchangeable all you're doing is pulling this little guy off so here is just the handle and then you can pop on the other shade now as far as how teeny tiny this is oh honey she is teeny tiny you guys these little cartridges only have 0 0.03 ounces of product in them and if you're thinking about that in comparison to other lipsticks i pulled three lipsticks just sitting in front of me at random i have the kkw nude number four i have the ulta beauty one i think it's just their satin lipstick here and then i have from pure their new ones with their barbie collection in the shade legendary and all three of these have 0.14 ounces of product and that is from what i have seen right around the standard amount of product and let me reiterate these have 0.03 0.03. So as far as what you're paying for, in my opinion, you are not paying for what you're getting as far as amount of product. You are paying for the overall presentation, the name, the formula. You're paying for a lot of things here, just not how much of it you are getting. And that for me is the biggest drawback for Hourglass and their lipsticks. Like that is how much lipstick you're getting. It is completely rolled up right now. That is it. Now for today, I'm going to go in with this shade. This is the deeper color. Mm-hmm in you inspire that is so freaking creamy oh girl there she is all applied as you can see i did leave a little bit in here open i'm gonna take the lighter shade and lightly kind of ombre that all right just a little bit there in the center to fill me out and give me some kind of lip because y'all know i got these tiny ass little lips and guys this is the face all complete what do you think leave me all of your thoughts down below um as far as the collection overall i think everything is pretty nice the only thing that i don't love if i'm being honest are the lip duos they're really nice and creamy and i love the color the pigmentation i don't have any issues with that what i struggle with i think is the amount of product and i know for all of these you're not getting a lot a lot of product and i've kind of just come to accept that with hourglass that's how things kind of run but with the lipsticks i feel like there are just so many other options you can go with that truly will do the same or similar that for me if i'm like if there's any aspect of this collection that you know you could kind of go without i think that one for me would be the most glaringly obvious because when it gets into their powders like i've already said a hundred times in this video there is just something about them that is so beautiful and so light and airy and just amazing on the skin and for that reason i will recommend their powders till the cows come home i think they are so so good so those are kind of my first First impression thoughts overall opinions what do you guys think again leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below also if you haven't done so yet you can subscribe hello hi and you should to this here youtube channel i do upload five videos a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m my time here in good old northern michigan and you guys my battery light is blinking at me again which means i have about 12 seconds so thank you all so so much for watching please do not forget to have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye why is mike why what is going Battery, what is wrong with you? Wow, these eyes are so pretty. <laughs> Paige, could you be more distracted? I'm like, my battery's gonna die. But seriously, look at how good my face looks. So really what I'm trying to say is you should... Shh, I'm very busy. Putting some foil on my lids, on my lids, on my lids. Blending it down, making it round and shiny on my lids. Ooh. And I'm also building it up just a little bit. Ow. Make sure there's no nuts in my teeth. <laughs> we'll just leave that there.